Hey guys, welcome back to another mod review where today we've kind of upped the portal room. So whenever it teleports me, it teleports me into this awesome ship where I can flick the lever. Anyway, so we have work to do in today's mod review. So as you remember last time, we were kind of over here, you know, chilling, doing all the challenges. But this mod review... We're not going to be using this set. We're going to be using the special pressure plate to uh, go fishing. So, yeah, let's uh, let's let's go to fishing with the water strainer mod. So, yeah, guys, this is going to be one of the this is going to be the second of the five that are going to be in Ninja Co Season Two. Um, yeah. So here we are. We have uh, all the strainers. Hopefully, none of them have broken while I've been talking. I think this one's really close to breaking, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, in the water strainer mod, water strainers are used to strain out minerals and fish and stuff of that sort out of the water with different ways and materials and different things and ways of doing it. So, what we need here is first we need the essentials. So, we got the net, the dense net, and the efficiency meter. So, the net is three string. Boom. So good. Dense net is six string. And you get two. And another thing that you need that I didn't put in here is a strainer base. I first, did I put that in? No, I didn't. I forgot about the strainer base. This is actually supposed to be in the, here somewhere. There we go. <laughs> and the strainer base is made by a hopper. Two wood on each side, two iron bars, and a chest. So, you will need all this to make pretty much every recipe. You'll either need this and this, or this and this. So, in here, we have the bait for certain things. So, certain strainers use bait. And certain strainers use worms. To get worms, what you do is you take this garden trowel, which is crafted by a derp, an iron, and a stick. And you take a bunch of dirt, and you go up here... And then you go over here and all crazy with dirt like you're a noob. And you build a dirt mansion. Boom. Right here. Can you just picture this? But what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take your garden trowel. And you're supposed to go like this. And occasionally, and it doesn't work on sand. I accidentally just shoveled some sand over there. I'm just going to shovel it all up. And I'm just going to put this in back because I feel environmentally friendly. And what you do, you just shovel it up and you get yourself some worms. As you can see, my inventory is getting some worms as I'm shoveling up this dirt. Now we have a damaged trowel, but that doesn't matter anymore. And what you do with these worms is you take these worms and you put them in certain like strainers here. And this is the super worm creative only. It's infinite bait. And this strainer broke. Oh. Oh well. Well that gives me a chance to put a new one in. So. Bait wise. These are only used for some things. Along with this bait pot. Which can be made by iron bars and a flower pot. These two are normally used together. Super worms creative only. Has no recipe. Sam pressing recipe. Oh wait. <laughs> Lingering potion of fire resistance. That's how you make a lingering potion of fire resistance, dudes. R. Nothing. That's a creative only infinite bait. Um, for when you're just like, come on, bro. I love mods that have the infinite bait feature or infinite something for creative only. It's great. And then you have the efficiency meter. Now we're gonna need this in a minute, so I'm gonna put this dirt back because I don't need it anymore. Um. And what we have over here is we have the normal net. So there's different types of nets here. And they need to be set up in a very specific way. So what you need to do is, as you know, if you play Minecraft, there are eight blocks of water that stream. You don't want to put it here. This is the best spot to put it. So what you do is you dig one under, and then you put this thing, the, the, the base. So I'm going to build a little thing over here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So now, what you do is you take these and then you break them. Might as well use your trowel because, like, it'll get you more worms for your bait. And now you have an eight block thing. Boom. Noob style. And then what you do. Oh, and then you break this one as well. Oh, and then you've messed. Then you realize that you've messed up. Wow. I'm so good at this. You don't see this. Water. Fuck it. Water. Okay, so. What you do, after you have your stream there, which you've made correctly, you dig one here, put the strainer base, and then you take a net. So this is the basic net, the survivalist strainer. Which you take a normal net, which was the three, uh three string like this and then you just put a bunch of sticks around it and you get the survivalist net which has 120 uses and it can give you sticks stone clay or planks so I left this one for all 120 uses this is what I got I got 30 clay 31 sticks 23 wood and 36 stone now these types of strainers don't take bait okay because they just they don't get fish and stuff so what you would do is you would take your awesome strainer and boom and then it starts straining out, and you start getting stuck. And there's a strainer base in there. Alright, now, there are different types of strainers, so we're gonna move on to the dense strainer, because that's basically the next one up. So you have this, which is your basic strainer, and then you have your dense strainer, which has 120 uses, but it can get gold nuggets instead of wood. So... Let, let's see. So, it has 120 uses as well. This one should almost be out. Yeah, it literally has one use. So, this is what you get. You get gravel, dirt, sand in this quantity. This is about to die, so I'm just gonna get ready with this replacement and probably come back here. And now we have our fishing one. Uh, yep, that's the next one. Mm, wait, what is this? Okay, that's something else. Okay. This is the fishing one now this is the only one that uses bait has bait here this is not required it just gives you extra luck at getting good things like look at this i'm getting enchanted books oh yes i'm taking this all right um so you can get enchanted books what are, what is the exact thing so to get fish of any type is 50 percent to get Bowls, bones, vines, and lily pads, and sticks. I just got another one. Wha Bro, that's not bad. Okay. Um, you can, you have that, uh, 15% chance. That 1% chance to get an enchanted book of any type is right here. And it does not break, which is so old P. Okay, it's the only one that gives you enchanted books, I think. There might be another one, though. And so, here it is, again, just right here. And I'll tell you about how I've set this up momentarily. And boom. And we just have that strain some more. Alright. Then we move on to the solid one. The solid one is another type of that one over there. And it's basically a solid one, which means it gets... I don't know what the different... Oh, it has efficiency. So instead... So over here, we have the... Oh, I need one of those. Oh, well. Um, we'll just use... Oh, uh, I've already used that one. Okay. Let's just... Oh, no. I've di I did that last time. Let's take this and this. I forgot to show the recipe for this, by the way. So, for this one right here, all you need is just... Instead of using a normal net, you just use a dense net. Just like... Um, just like uh, that one over, over there. And then, for the fishing one... We need to grab one of these. Wait, no, no, we don't. I need. To sh I can just show the recipe here. Um, so the fishing one is sugar cane all around a normal net. Um, shouldn't be that hard, you know. If you're in a desert biome, look, sugar cane, sugar cane. That was not spawned in. That's 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 generic sugar cane. Sh sugar cane. <laughs> and so next, you have. This is the difference between the solid ones and the other ones. So the solid ones, uh, you need iron bars and iron. So if you compare this to, if you shift and then you move over the stick, stone, clay, does the same thing as a normal one, 
except it has 720 uses and it has 10% efficiency. Now, this is where this thing starts coming in, but we're going to get to that later. So, and then we have the solid dense ones. So, you remember we had the dense ones over here. Now, there's the solid dense type, which uses, um, which can get gold nuggets instead, like the other one. So, basically, the solid ones just have more uses and extra efficiency, which means you'll get better stuff more of the time. You'll, you'll get better stuff most of the time rather than those over there. And then we move on to the really expensive ones. After we show you the rest of this one, I don't think I showed this one. Did I? Well, I mean, it's the dense ones always have a dense net, and the normal ones always have a normal net, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, then we have the reinforced net. Now, the reinforced net is a super expensive net because it has 5,760 uses. It has plus 25% efficiency, and it is enchantable. So if you press shift. You can see it gives stick, stone, clay, and planks as normal. Now, if we go like this, we have a special tab here. But this is made out of diamonds and obsidian. This is a super expensive net, but this is why. Valid enchantments. Efficiency increases the efficiency. So, it can basically give you better stuff more of the time, depending on how you enchant it. Unbreaking, fortune, increases the item output. Um, so as many items as you get for amount of time and then it increases the rare item drop is luck of the sea So this one is super good. Uh, no, not this one. It's it's um, Upgraded version the dense one. So this one is the reinforced dense net 5760 uses plus 25 efficiency enchantable and here we go We have the diamonds around and this it gives gold nugget the same exact stuff so Basically, it's the same exact stuff, same enchantments, um, but instead of wood, you get gold nuggets, and these don't need bait. So the only one that needs bait is this one, and bait is so easy to get that I would suggest doing this one because of the enchanted books that it gives. I would say this one right here, this is the winner. This one right here is the winner. So the way I've set this up is if you look on the wiki, they say, look, look, one. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the first block here. So it's getting a great amount of efficiency. So you're asking, why do I need to put this right here and right there? And like, I'm so confused. So what happens is the amount of efficiency means the amount of chance you have of getting good stuff. So we right click it with the efficient, you have to right click the bottom. It says 35%, so it's like, hmm, good, 25, mm, 20, 10, 10, 55. So the reason this one is 55 is because of, it. Ha it's the first one, and the way that it's streaming into this from the corner, that's how it works. So if we look at this one over here, this one is also a dense one, so it has less. So, I still suggest this one, because if you look at the, not the efficiency, but the drops that it gives. Like, compare it to this one. This one has the most efficiency. Get sticks, stone, wood, clay. If you want clay, it's great. Because I know there are situations that you want clay. But if you want food and vines, okay, vines? Okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. You want vines, okay? You need to go find a different biome for vines if you if you really feel like it. But here, just got the strainer, boom, two vines right there. And I'm about to destroy those vines that I just got. But that's basically pretty much what the strainer mod does. It's a very useful mod. And for this mod, I gotta give it an 8 out of 10. The reason I'm not giving it a 9 or a 10 is because... Eight is because, look at this, they all give pretty much the same thing. I think that the diamond ones should really give you some more. Like, should give you more than sand, dirt, gravel, and gold nuggets. I really think the diamond ones should be better than that. Um, and the eight is because you have to place it in a certain pattern and you have to do all this. But it is a very, very, very useful mod. 
and I would recommend, still would recommend it, because anything above 5 is a recommended, and so yeah, this is going to be the second mod in Ninja Co. Season 2, once it finally comes out, once we have 5 mods, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and good luck with your straining and fishing and whatever you want to do, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this mod, and uh, I will see you in the next video, bye guys!